Memorial Day is very special for me because I flew combat in Vietnam, 1968, 69, and 12 guys were killed. And so they did not, they were in their 20s like, like me. They didn't get, a lot of them married, had children, never got to live the rest of their life. So I kind of feel that I'm indebted to them, that I need to honor their memory. I need to do uh, things that honor their memory also. And one of the things that I can do that's very visual is fly on Memorial Day and do the missing man formation over services. The missing man formation will fly in a, what's called a V formation. I'll be the, the right wing. Just as we get over the service, that's when I'll pull up and it's symbolic of the person who, if it was a memorial for one person, they have passed, passed on. And for aviators, it's they've gone to the Valhalla of, of the sky. And when we fly for private uh, services, for individuals who are veterans, uh, the families always tell me that they feel like that's when they can release their loved one. When they see the airplane pull up and head west, then they're gone. Uh, here at the Australia Warbird Museum with my airplane. I've owned it 30 years. We've probably been flying these memorials for the better part of 25.